coucou <coughs> J'ai eu mal à la gorge déjà, ça se ça commence bien. Euh, coucou, Natsu, coucou, Nicolo, euh, bonjour, bonjour, est-ce que vous m'entendez, est-ce que tout va bien J'ai attendu un peu que Lyon arrive. Mais c'est un chat ou un chien, Polo Elle a l'air plus d'être un chien. Bonjour, bonjour. Je dis que à 95%. Yes. Je dis que je un peu fort. Là, c'est mieux normalement. J'attends un peu que les gens arrivent. Qu'on s'y mette. Colo, on est d'accord, c'est le dernier chapitre. Je me suis mis la fin, mais je suis pas sûre. Oui, j'ai pas de cerveau aujourd'hui. T'avais qu'à dormir. Non, mais où <rire> ouais c'est la fin mais pas prêt hein. du coup j'avais prévu de faire autre chose après euh, Tell Me Why mais j'ai rien prévu donc euh, au final bah ça sera pas mais euh, voilà coucou cookie ça va cookie ça va colo ça va Natsu <rire> Est-ce que... Euh... Ouais. Je t'avais demandé à Colo, est-ce que ça va être triste Est-ce qu'on va pleurer Sans doute. Enfin, peut-être pas, non. Je ne sais pas. Je suis pas prête à démarrer. Je suis pas prête, moi. Je suis bien discutée, là. C'est bon, il y a eu l'annonce des sourdes. Oui. Je suis claquée. Ah bah ben, euh, bravo <rire> Entre il y en a une qui a pas dormi du tout et, et l'autre qui est fatiguée, comment qu'on va faire hein Est-ce que Colo toi t'as bien dormi Parce que... <rire> Moi ça va, hein. moi ça, ça va bien hein. Euh, je suis pas prête. En gros, ce que je voulais faire après euh, Tell Me Why, je sais pas combien de temps ça va durer. Mais c'est mes C'était faire un autre jeu sur la PS4, mais... Euh... Pour ça, il faut que je prévienne mon frère un peu à l'avance quand même, et... et tout ça. Bah oui, tu me vois moi, Cookie, c'est déjà pas mal. Euh, alors, je vais quand même vous les mettre un peu sur le jeu, mais... hum, Non, pas ça. Coucou Jordan est-ce qu'il y en a qui veulent euh, un récap vite fait de ce qui s'est passé dans les chapitres d'avant Il y a eu deux chapitres. Coup rapide, bah bravo. Bravo Jordan. Au final, je te dis pas bonjour. De toute façon, je te boude. Mais t'as au moins vu les redifs, Jordan, pour être au courant de ce jeu. Hein. J'espère, hein. attention. <rire> C'est chiant. Je dirais, moi. Je sais que tu restes que pour, euh, que pour le jeu. <rire> bon, il va falloir qu'on se lance. Je reste que pour Natsu. Il reste que pour Natsu. Et je pense. Hein. Je pense qu'il reste que pour Natsu. Mm. 
moi, je redagne les gentils. Je le boude un peu moins. Mais quand même, il fait que des coucous rapides, alors moi, je le boude un peu. Bon, il est temps de continuer. J'ai oublié de faire un truc. Quand on joue à Tell Me Why, on vire l'overlay. Tac. Parce que comme ça, on est plus dedans. Enfin, je pense que vous êtes plus dedans sans l'overlay, quoi. Il est où le vert Là. Hop là. T'as déjà vu la fin, du coup, à Colombo Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins face the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. L'ambiance est assez euh, compliquée. You killed me. 
You killed me! <웃음> 이렇게 편한 병 없이 해주세요. 안녕하세요, 여러분. <웃음> I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. What the? I should probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but... He really does so much for the community. I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. 
ID and Faith Eddy says there's a plant for every pain, except heartache. I haven't had any time to sketch lately. I can't really eat anything right now. <laughs> what if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Ah, here's my ID. Oui, ça va, les gens qui arrivent. I got pretty lucky with this job. Tessa and Tom really took a chance on me. Eddie loved his Mishka so much. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wonder what Tyler's up to out of the house. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I can't really eat anything right now. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. I can't leave without all my application stuff. The paperwork's not down there. Where did I stash my pay stubs? And where did my wallet end up last night? Le jeu est plus fort que moi. C'est très grave en soi. Merde, c'est pas ça. Ah d'ailleurs, je suis en mode sur of Thieves là. <rire> J'arrive. Alors, hop. C'est la mage Windows, elle m'a fait de la merde, je pense. D'ailleurs, hop. Du, du, du. Normalement, ça... Ah oui, comment Bah, attendez... Pas normal, d'habitude, je suis presque dans le rouge. Mais c'est peut-être parce que je parle moins fort aujourd'hui, je sais pas. 
On va dire que c'est puis ça va. C'est quoi Car il était dernière fiche de paix. Et si t'as pas dernière fiche de paix Car d'identité, tu l'as, elle est là. Pourquoi je peux pas la prendre un peu Ah voilà. This place doesn't have much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. C'est mieux la leçon, du coup. Je vais pas parler en même temps, mais. Mais je sais pas ce que je voulais faire. My recent pay stubs should be in that folder in my room. I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. C'est pas là-dedans. Not here. Ok. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. Here they are. Hello. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Fait peur son sous-sol. <rire> tous les films d'horreur grave Hey. No, no, no. I 
cannot deal with you right now. What's it doing here? It's caché with the eagle gun. Hey, D. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <clears throat> <sighs> get it together. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for D. God, my hands are still shaking. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out of here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. You were so happy he was coming home. Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. <clears throat> so, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just... We really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he... He's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. We both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. I totally reason. I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. Pardon, c'est pas ce que je voulais faire. Heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I, I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. <laughs> Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, <laughs> good. Because I did not plan to. I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I, uh, I've been kind of freaking out on repeat today. What do you mean? It's hard to describe, but I just can't calm down. You ever try any of that affirmation type shit? Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. 
that I'm a great person and my feelings are valid. <sighs> this will pass. I'm a great person. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but that's a good start. Do you want to talk about what happened with Tessa at the cemetery? We just what? asked her some questions. What kind of questions? Tough ones. Let me guess, she did not appreciate that. She reported Marianne to social services. She was trying to get us taken away. Fuck, I'm sorry, Allie. I knew she was nosy, but that's like some super villain shit. Hey, what's eating at you, Allie? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. It's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. Is que vous trouvez que ça m'est relax? Dites-le dans le chat. <laughs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms <laughs> and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <sighs> oh, God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Ouais, tu parles lui des souvenirs. Tu fais confiance à Michael. Everything. My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and then I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Here, Allie. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah. I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but... They're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. 
Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Oui, belle yeah, voix. Maybe that could work. <laughs> talk to you though. <laughs> He's never been the best Hello. at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with D. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Morning. Oh, uh, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Bah, je vais juste voir lui. Il est pas à l'étage. Sounds like Eddie's busy. Uncle's in there. <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful. What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. <laughs> a cobbler <laughs> diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. Hate strikes. What is this? Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. 
My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Il peut plus manger du crumbule. Des citrus. We haven't had a three-pointer coffee break in a while. <laughs> you remember? What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. J'ai envie d'écouter aux portes, moi. Mais je peux plus. Hey, Grace. Très gentil. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. <laughs> the sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, uh, so... I wanted to make it sure count. I'm sure peu, everyone uh... will have a great time. That's <sighs> good. Et je l'aime bien. Elle est belle en plus. Ouf. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm. An animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash band of stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, no, yeah, I'm so sorry point. to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Well, we need to try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little strapped for time, so... No, I get it. With your brother back, I see where your priorities are now. What? No, no, it's not... Relax, I'm just kidding. I really gotta go now. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Ils veulent pas manger ensemble? Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? It's not really any of your business. We just had some family stuff we needed to discuss with Eddie. Oh, yeah? That way broke into the archive? And assaulted Brown because of family stuff? Look. Mais We're all worried about lui? you. This isn't the Allison we know. Mais the Allison we know? Lui? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. Shit. <laughs> oh. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, and not a troublemaker. But Tyler. If he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I... I can't... I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Merci, <sighs> Ambra. Please. Fuck. 
Why is he ghosting me? God. I can't breathe. Please stop. Okay. Okay. I've been here before. This will pass. You have been. Allez, Alison, bien beau. J'ai fait de mon mieux. Ça va, j'ai pas trop de temps. Je le sens vraiment fort. Hein. Je crois que je le sens encore moins que tous les autres gens que je sentais pas. Merde. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um, I went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... Sam, je l'aime bien. This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> ben Rodi Fredel. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. Hmm. <laughs> gets you tellement. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. 
I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand. Trust me, I do. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Est-ce qu'on lui dit Non. Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. But <laughs> Chute, cool. I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that. But there's no shame in getting help. Please. Just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Hmm. Il est où Tyler dans cette histoire parce que moi je le préfère. Hein. Ah, bah. Hmm. Ok. Non, j'ai encore à lire. Et hey, ça va. Tu avais remarqué. <sighs> Toujours à m'embêter, coup. Taylor, ouais, c'est grave. Touk, touk, touk. Toc, toc, avant d'entrer. 
Ok. Oh, Allie, I... Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's <coughs> a nice memory. <coughs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, 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 all right, uh, here she is. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Vraiment. God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm. Yeah. So, um, what are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? Uh... Where's your brother? We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up. Right up till the end. So, um, I was over at the station and I, I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want a little sick. No bananas on board? <laughs> really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this <laughs> greenhorn brought one on board. A banana. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. Yeah. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. C'est pas très anti ça, Colo. Faut que je dis. Junker. Bon, tu arrives avec ton truc là.
Need this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. Freaking nuts are stuck. I know they showed it to you. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to have it if you don't know your yeah, actual Orion? How about this? Huh? No. No, it should be on one of those shelves back there. Don't stress yourself out. Là I can work them for you eventually. Le monde est vaste, alors là-bas, euh, voilà. Moi je monte. <rire> là, là. Je pas là. Je sais que je suis une Là-bas ici, ma banane. Mais là-bas où Là-bas où, banane Mais c'est pas là, du coup. Ah Oh, damn it Ouch. What happened I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. It should be in that cupboard over there. Dans ce placard, exactement. Je, 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 je pas à te le dire. Je. Dans ce placard, oui, bien sûr. Dans ce placard. Oui, hein. Bien sûr, effectivement, c'est absolument certain que c'est dans un placard. Yeah, the gauze should be in that, uh, that cupboard over there. Mais quel placard, Sam Je sais que t'aimes bien, mais franchement, euh, t'as pas inventé de chose quand même. Y'a pas de placard. Là Non, peut pas ouvrir. Là Non. C'est où Tu me saoules. Il y a un placard qui s'ouvre. Je pense que j'ai des gaz dans un cupboard près du sink. Près de l'évier. Ah, là, oui, ça s'ouvre. Ah, oui. Bon leur Knetsu. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. J'étais un petit peu j'ai 3000 ans et juste tu lui dis elle était mon père. I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ali. But the man you're looking for he ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey. You got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. 
I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a Moi, ça me tue de micro pas comme ça. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't. I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Entre nous, Sam. Ouais, il avait les mains tout le temps. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? <laughs> Heat's on the fritz. Ugh. What's all this? Here. I, uh... Kept a few things. Can I? She looks happy. Hmm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mm. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? Oh, no, I... She didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all I it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. On disait elle a toujours pas tourné la page, bon la mi-temps. I'm sorry. C'est compliqué. Hein. I know how hard this has been on you. Qu aimait, en soi. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Chin bone snapped in three different places. Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she has have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. I watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Ça. 
Donc, il y a... Il s'est endormi. Ok. Pour que toi, écoute. Je vais te dire. Perso, je l'aime pas, Sam. Mais il a pas l'air méchant. C'est toi, mon papa. <rire> Succès déverrouillé. Colo, il aime perso, mais grave, à part Eddie, là. Je sais pas, Eddie, donc. Je... Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. <laughs> But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I, I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk <laughs> behind me if you're okay. afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's show time. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm gonna rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man. I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out. And fishing, and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right. Right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh... I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family? I mean, I guess I got pretty tight with my counselor, Aaron, but I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel him in. <laughs> Come on, pull up on the rod.
Now give it a nice pull. I got it. I got it. Yeah, pues so. Slippery little. I got it. <laughs> cool. Bravo. <laughs> First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. C'est pas tout à fait une natsu, on aimera ça. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got <laughs> to a pretty dark place. Shit. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and <laughs> told me to get into his car. I figured we we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE. Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so I found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JCE holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I, I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. Mm -hmm. So, ice fishing. I mean, yeah. What isn't there to like about standing in the middle of a frozen lake? All right, here we go. Not so. How about them apples? Oh, nice job. <laughs> so, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but... Last week, your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been <laughs> hard, you know? <laughs> Figuring out how to live. <laughs> out here? You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me, too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? 
Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. So, what are you gonna make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. A slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, mm -hmm. walnuts, just a drop of olive oil, pure perfection. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me, partner. Don't you say anything. No, no, bitch. Easy. Oh. Whoa. Bam. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, can I can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, uh, mm -hmm. you've been with people, right? Uh, romantically? Uh, yeah, a few. Have you? Uh, no, not really. That's kind of surprising. I guess the right person just never came along. But you're open to the idea? Yeah. I could be. <laughs> Let's say I'm reevaluating. You want my take on it? Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you and it'd be cool. I feel safe. Mm. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. Elle loupait 1h30, plutôt 1h20. Mais ils sont trop mignons. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. 
Uh, call me later? You know I will. De quel? Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. Voilà. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? Mais arrêtez de rester dehors, il a l'air de faire froid, vous me donnez froid. So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Mary Ann first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Mais la dernière fois on a été dans la grange, c'était bizarre. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. You want to take another look at the picture? It might help. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Need to see the picture again? The handle should be behind this. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. 
Mais ça, je l'ai vu. En plus, que j'aurais gardé Michael au cas où. Hein. Je mets. Oh. Can you see anything? Nope, not a. Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. She left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? Or maybe we just need to solve the puzzles in order. We're not done with the other one yet. Moonhag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. Ça, c'est le truc du euh, caster. Mmh. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the mad hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Mm. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Okay. Spot the differences. But déjà, y a pas les petits gobelins au milieu. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, a 
according to the story. Do you th think the gold lady could have been married? Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So, huh. No goblets. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the mad hunter. So we... He saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? Il est pareil, le monsieur au milieu. It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. Could this guy have been any more... You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. Mm-hmm. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Here's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. Figured anything out yet? Nah, still thinking. Pas dans le bouquin. Ok. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. Hmm. Figured anything out yet? Je regarde, madame. Nah, still thinking. Nope. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Tu veux bien, Golo? Yeah. Huh. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? It seems like the gold lady's kind of stabbing the princess in the back in all of these, right? 
Merette. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. La danse. Good one too. Loiseau. God, that's so not her. So I guess she tried to change majors, but couldn't. Her parents probably wanted her to study something more practical. Marianne Ronan. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's... Mm -hmm. Et... Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Mm -hmm. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Her father. Pas très gentil, hein? Mauvais papa. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us. Ah ouais, y a Do we have a long lost pas. sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Bien joué, tourné. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Ola, Where was prom Ella. queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. What's that plant thing on top? Oh. Those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, yeah, that degree in outdoor studies, studies is paying off. Some sort of clock?
A little bit of dinner. Some sort of clock? This looks like a dinner party. Well, this is the princess's name. It. Why is nothing happening? Je pense que je me suis trompé. This is the princess's house. Est-ce que je te juge, moi, Taylor? Non, tu te calmes. Vas-y, Colo, un bis. Ouais, le château, ça avait l'air bon en premier, donc. That's the gold lady's castle. Bougez pas. Merde. Il y a trop de pluie sur la souris. Tu l'avais presque. <rire> Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that, with, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where would- Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? Take this up. The princess is lost. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. Her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. was just gone. I guess having us helped her move on. 
but when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? E c'est orange, O c'est jaune et L c'est rouge. E orange. J'ai oublié. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. Well, yeah. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. There you go, stalwart moose. Back in your pond, big frog. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. Gold lady stays locked up in oh, her castle. Ça Il y avait un autre papier dans la boîte. Il y avait des tuches, un tuche tuche. A baby blanket. Ah, la couverture du baby. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on some roses, maybe? Huh. Fresh-caught salmon? A newly bloomed bluebell? A handful of ripe berries? Some honey? Hazelnuts. Mm-hmm. Wait. Maybe not. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two. Some flour for the cake, maybe? Maybe not. Il y a des trucs en bas. What if they took some spoons?
Maybe they took mm -hmm. some of the princess's fruit. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. The crafty goblin's good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really... Mm-hmm. We remember. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Je sais pas si ça sert à quelque chose ce que je fais. <coughs> They hugged the princess when she was crying. They helped fix the beaver dam. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. They removed a thorn from the fruit. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Actually, I'm not sure. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Sunbug. Merci. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, <laughs> I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom, it's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Le mec le plus tété au monde, grave. Je l'aime pas en plus. Yeah. Tu vaux mieux que ça, Marianne. Enfin, tu vas mieux que ça, du coup. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. 
Donc c'est pas une bonne idée de les faire venir euh, tout ça, non Enfin, je sais pas. que ça va puer. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. Tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Hey. You hearing me? Yo, sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. <laughs> Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. Je pas trop quand même, Taylor. Je veux maybe pas. Marianne wouldn't be Je, dead. No. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. <laughs> that was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was a very pretty And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. 
Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary Ann really died. Saluba. Pardon. That night I came out here because I was worried about your mother. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. So cool. Don't touch her. <clears throat> you know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back. Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head. 
and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? herself. You interrupted her and we, we got confused. Are you sure? 
Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. It was our way of, of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. <laughs> hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? Where are you at right now? I just... Keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. You and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But, I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag. But she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter.
Oh non Mais tes cheveux Ah bon. One last look, and I'm good to go. <laughs> Pourquoi il a fait ça, ses cheveux? Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> Did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I... I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Seeing it empty is so weird, but at least it's the last time I'll ever have to. Mmm, so Ma. Et coucou Isardi. J'aime pas trop le papier peint quand même. Que 
Goodbye, room. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon? For posterity. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. Oui, il y a un avion en papier là. Que <rire> euh, Même ici, c'est vide, dis donc. Ils ont pris les toilettes. Ça fait pas là, les gars. Well, this is goodbye for real. I guess. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... uh thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch, staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around, and thank you. <laughs>